Hi everyone. Today's video, I am going to show you how to model pump piping in a Vway 3D. Along with the piping, I will share some technical points how we can model the piping in a Vway 3D. So we have this two pump and we will do the pipe routing as per the PNID. We have this PNID of this two pump and we will model the piping as per the PNID. Good thing is that if you are new designer or piping engineer, you are going for interview in any oil and gas company. For the tool test, they will give you a PNID and you have to do the modeling in the E3D in the office. So then they can judge whether you know E3D or not. So maybe it will help you in the future. So for piping, we have to click on piping here and then go to pipe and here piping editor is open here. First we have to give the pipe name and you will get the pipe name from the PNID. So this is the pipe name 6 inch PL44 and we have to key in there. So this is the pipe name and here you have to select the system, which system it is. So I will select a process system A. And after that you have to select the pipe specification. So the pipe specification you should have to choose from the pin ID. So you will get here the specification pipe AD20. Maybe when you will get the pin ID it's something else. Maybe it is B0 or, or C0 whatever. If it is B, A is for 150 rating, B is for 300 rating as gone. But you have to start from the pin ID. So that pipe spec is not available in, in this catalog. So I will just select 150 because I know it is 150. It is only for the demonstration purpose. After that, you have to select the board. My connect board is 100. And after that, you have to select the insulation. Insulation, you guys can select from the PNID also. It's mentioned one more letter here. A, B, C. If the insulation is there, if there is no insulation, nothing will be shown. So if there is insulation, you have to select the insulation. So I will set K here, then heat tracing. Heat tracing is steam or electrical tracing. It also mentioned in the PNID. You have to identify if there is any heat or steam insulation. Below the line, there is one dotted line. And they mentioned there heat tracing, electrical or steam. But in this line, there is no heat tracing. So then go to go, click apply. And after that, the pipe is created under the John. Now we have to select the head of the pipe. So this is the pipe editor. And now the branch head we have to connect. You have to click on this pick item to connect and select the nozzle. I will select this one. So the head is connected here. After that, we have to click on create component. And now the create component form will be open here. First of all, you have to untick this one. Otherwise, it will come automatically. Click on reselect. 
and click on here world neck flange so the flange will be changed if you see the pin id now we have a rs mean removable spool so we have to make a removable spool here then we have to uh, model this pressure gauge then strainer we have drain here then wall now we have to create a reducer click here on reducer here and the size is this is centric my size is 6 by 4 it is 150 and then click here create and the reducer is created now the pump suction line the bottom flat should be top so how, how we can do that click on modify and click on this get symbol and click on is 180 now for the pump suction line or discharge line we have some guidelines what state length requirement is there all the vendors want 5d state length so 100 so it will be the 400 state length so here i will just put here on the 400 mm and enter so this is the state length requirement while designing the pump suction line so after that we have to create a flange click on flange here select welding flange still the assembly is coming automatically so why it is coming because i just tick this one so i will untick this one also now we have to create a stainer then again i will create a flange here and here i will give the spool length click on modify and give the spool length here 600 mm why i give 600 mm? because here i need a pipe support when pump is under maintenance so we have to remove this spool so this pipe should not fall down or here stainer or whatever it is then i will create a gasket here click on additional component and i will pick the stainer so this is the stainer click on stainer component create a gasket we are following the pin id see we put removable spool here but here we have to put a uh, two inch outlet for pressure gauge so here i will create a outlet and here I will select T, it is not under 2 inch, so it is a 50 and we will go for this occlet and click on modify and give the spool length, I will give 300, will come on the center. So it's as per the pin ID only, we are following exactly the pin ID. Here again we have to click on flange, weld neck, enter here. Now here is the drain point. It is 3 by 4. This is 20. And now it is showing up. First, we will click on modify and we will give a spool of 300 and click on down. Now we have to 
create a flange. So we will create an elbow here. We will create the flange in vertical direction. Click on elbow, select the elbow here. And click on modify. And if you click on U, the direction will be U here. And give a spool length here. And now we have to create a flange. And then gasket. And then click on wall. And you have to select the wall from the pin ID. <laughs> this is the wall symbol. So you have to check the symbol which wall is mentioned in the pane ID. I'm going to put here glow wall. Why this error is coming, I will let you know. Because after the flange, we forget to put in gasket. So here we have to put a gasket here. And now click on the gasket, click on a modify, and here click on connect to previous. Now click on wall, and again click here, connect to previous. Now it is properly connected. Again, we have to create a gasket, and then flange. And now we will create elbow. So we have to go this way, connect to the horizontal vessel. So I will give here the spool a meter, then I will give it T here, and my T will be equal to. And I will, I want the direction downside, click on modify, click on D and click on this arrow and click on here element and bring to center of this pump. So suction line almost completed, but we have to create a drain connection and uh, the pressure gauge connection here. So here, click on branch here. Now you have to connect the tail point. You can do manual also, or here also click on connect head to the first branch. <laughs> click on branch. Now tail is connected here. Now we will create a pressure gauge here check his connection. Now here, under pipe editor, click this word, create new branch new, click this one. You can see that new branch is created here. Again, click head, click on this arrow and click this point. And again, click on this create component. So it, it's a two inch connection. First we have, we have to create a flange. You can see that again it is coming automatically. We have to untick. The flange is created in the branch one. So we have to print, click on print C. So here, Go to the branch, click this one, two branch, and then click on create component. 
so now we are in the brass tube so we have to careful while working on new branch on flange here move this one flip the this one the air is coming because this is a socolate so it is not available in the weld or it is not available in the catalog so that's why it's showing error when you will work on the e e e3d you will get all the components available in your spec this is only for the demonstration purpose how to model piping then again click on gasket now we have to create a valve here i just select my valve valve here so we will do manually next f connect if you guys need any e3d commands i will give the link in the description again put here gasket the error is coming only because uh, the spec these components are are not available in the spec and then create a flange here now after that the pressure gauge will be come so we simply connect branch connect pt to last member enter so this connection is completed now we have to create a drain similar way create new pipe here sorry new branch and click branch and click this arrow select this all it the error is only coming due to the this small bore spec un availability in the catalog otherwise you have to follow the same procedure what i am following click on new component here again we have to click on flange we have to get a valve here then again we have to getting gasket here we have to click in blind flange again click on this three branch and in this three branch click on branch here branch tail click on connect tail to last member so this suction piping is done so this video will be too long and discharge line i will model in the next video